What's going on YouTube? Username Kite562 here with another wand review for you, and it's of the Maple and Black Walnut Wand and the U Wand. Now, both of these wands are made from the solid wood that they're made out of, like with this wand. It's made out of solid U, and it is 13 and a half inches in length. And this is written to be Tom Marvolo Riddle's wand, or Lord Voldemort's wand in the books and movies. And I think it's really striking with its golden orange color. And I really love the personality within the handle. Just, And then it kind of has this in-between section within the shaft. Again, this wand is made out of solid U. So, like, when I first got this wand, it was originally what 48 bucks <laughs> again this video is not sponsored but yeah originally when I got this wand it's 48 dollars but it was all worth it in the end since all the lovely craftsmanship within this wand is just really wonderful and nice you see in the handle it kinda starts out as a ball and then works its way out kinda like the mahogany wand and kind of has this little nub within the shaft. Excuse me. But anyway, as always, all Alavan's wands come with the Certificate of Authenticity. Pause that if you want to read the description of the wood. This certificate's to certify that this wand is made out of solid U and it's 13 and a half inches and here's the other side so I'll read it off to you your Alvan's wand is handcrafted of solid U U is unique in that it is associated with both death and rebirth it is known to enhance magical and physical abilities and is especially suited for spells of transfiguration. The user of this wand must be extremely careful of its innate destructive workings. And again, I've always enjoyed these little descriptions of the wands and all the love and care that goes into making them. And I just think that this U wand is just a really lovely design, but knowing its owner in its history, it's really quite a force to be reckoned with in the wrong hands. So, but I just love how this whole design just looks in general. I mean, it kind of has a lightsabery like feel to it in the handle when you hold it, and it's just really comfortable. So, the U is very light, and it's very simple and a very elegant design. So anyway, on to the next wand, and that's Minerva McGonagall's wand, or Professor McGonagall wa McGonagall's wand. And this is the maple and black walnut wand, maple in the handle, and black walnut in the shaft. And this wand is written to be 16 and a half inches according to the Certificate of Authenticity. Authenticity by the... By Alibans. I cannot talk today. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this is Minerva McGonagall's wand. It really has a striking design within the handle. It kind of looks like a street lamp or something. And it has like this nice little acorn nub at the end of it. And then it has this nice comfy little handle right here. It's really nice. And then as you move down, it ends on a nice black walnut shaft. So, and I've had all these Alavan's wands for years. And I just love how they all turned out. Still looking great.
for all these years. But anyway, I'll read off the certificate of authenticity to ya. But before I do that, here's the description. The professor, 16 and a half inches. Here's the other side. Your Alavan's wand is handcrafted of solid maple. Maple is known to be great for charm work and levitation. Maple is also known for being the wood of longevity. Black walnut is known for its protective nature, which makes it perfect for security against the dark arts. And that really describes Minerva McGonagall's personality kind of to a T. I mean, I really enjoyed her as a character in the movies and the books. She is portrayed by Maggie Smith within the films, and McGonagall is just great. <laughs> she has like a really stern grandmotherly vibe to her when it comes to her students being in danger and whatnot. So, yeah, that's been my next wand review of the U and the Maple and Black Walnut wands, so this is Kite562 signing out. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more content from this channel. Like, I don't plan on collecting any more Alavan's wands, I'm just gonna, you know, make videos on the ones that I do own or have owned over the years, so that way they're preserved on this channel. But again, since these wands are tied to a book series, so I just thought, why not? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. But anyway, leave a like, comment, and do you think Tom Riddle's wand went through an evolution as he experimented more with dark magic? I mean, this U wand looks pretty innocent right now. Do you think it went over an evolution over time as he drifted down a dark path as he was a student at Hogwarts. Let me know down in the comments below. This is Kite562 signing out, and as always, I hope you have a wonderful day, everybody. Later.